In this video, I'm going to show you how to thread a needle and tie a knot. The needles are very small. On the needle, there is a small opening that you'll see. This is called the eye. The other end is called our point and it's what we sew with. When I thread a needle, I'm going to need my needle, my needle threader that looks like this, and a spool of thread. I'm going to keep it zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing, but know that yours will be much smaller looking. Next, I will also need a pair of scissors, but what I'm gonna start by doing is, don't touch the thread, I've moved it off my camera so you don't see it. I'm gonna start with just my needle and my needle threader. The needle threader gets poked through the eye or that hole. Now it's kind of tough, but it's a lot easier with metal than it is with the thread. And I push it all the way through so that the metal loop opens back up. My needle is on my needle threader. Now I'm ready for my thread. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my thread is coming off. I just unwound it off the spool a little bit. Then I'm going to put my thread through my needle threader and I'm going to pull just a little tail. It's not long, just a little bit. Then I need to take my needle off my needle threader. So I'm going to pull on my needle threader, on the colored part, then I'm going to hold my needle and I'm going to give a little tug, not a hard tug, just a little tug, and it will start pulling my string through. I pull all the way until my string is all the way through and on my needle now, and then I can take it off my needle threader. What I need to do next is pull my string long. When you sew with thread, it needs to be two pieces together. So I'm going to cut so they're the same length. And then I'm done. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna set that aside. And I just need to tie my knot. To tie a knot, I'm going to zoom in again so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my thread and I take both ends at the same time. Don't take them apart. I loop over so that my end looks like a fish. My end is on top. So what I'm going to do is loop my end under and through the loop of my fish. It will look kind of like a circle now. And if I grab my ends and I grab my, the end that's attached to my needle, I can pull and that circle gets smaller and smaller until it turns into a knot. Now when I've knotted my thread and I've threaded my needle, I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on Seesaw so I can see the knot and so I can see your needle. When you're done, cut your needle off, string goes in the garbage, your needle gets set aside so that another person can do this.